does fetal fraction determine gender? If you're expecting a baby and wondering how doctors can determine the gender of your unborn child without an invasive procedure, you're about to learn something fascinating. Let's talk about fetal fraction and its role in determining the gender of your baby. When a woman is pregnant, her bloodstream contains not only her own DNA, but also small fragments of her baby's DNA, known as cell-free fetal DNA, CFF DNA. This CFF DNA is what non-invasive prenatal testing, NAPT, uses to gather information about the baby. The amount of this CFF DNA in the mother's blood is called the fetal fraction. It's essentially the percentage of the baby's DNA in the mother's bloodstream. Now here's where it gets interesting. The fetal fraction can vary based on several factors, such as the mother's weight, the gestational age, and even the baby's gender. For determining the baby's gender, NAPT looks specifically for DNA sequences from the Y chromosome. If Y chromosome DNA is detected in the maternal blood sample, it means the baby is a boy. If no Y chromosome DNA is found, it's assumed the baby is a girl. Here's the key point. The fetal fraction itself doesn't directly determine the gender, but it does play a crucial role in whether the test can accurately detect the presence of Y chromosome DNA. For example, if the fetal fraction is too low, the test might not have enough data to make a reliable determination. Typically, a fetal fraction of at least 4% is needed for NIPT to accurately detect genetic abnormalities, but for gender determination, a significantly lower fetal fraction can be sufficient. This is why some tests, like the Sneak Peak Early Gender DNA Test, can predict the baby's gender as early as six weeks into pregnancy, even though the fetal fraction might be quite low at that stage. It's also important to note that female fetuses tend to have a higher fetal fraction than male fetuses due to the longer length of the X chromosome compared to the Y chromosome. This means that in some cases, Detecting the gender of a female fetus might be slightly easier because there is more CFF DNA present in the maternal bloodstream. In summary, while the fetal fraction itself doesn't determine the gender, it is essential for ensuring that there is enough of the baby's DNA in the mother's blood to accurately detect the presence or absence of Y chromosome DNA, which in turn determines the baby's gender. So the next time you hear about NAPT and fetal fraction, you'll know exactly how it all works together to give you that exciting news about your baby's gender.